it's Nonis, and I'm here today with Sarah. First of all, about like when I first came over, uh-huh. I was freaking out. I was talking to my husband, like, well, where do we put anything? Mm-hmm. And he reminded me that's why we hired her. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was really anxious. To first time. So we've done some other rooms, but today we're going to do your kitchen. Uh-huh. So I'm going to do like like a doctor. Like, tell me where your kitchen hurts. Gotcha. What don't you like? I don't like anything behind the shelf kind of cabinets. Okay. Um, like when you open them up, you don't fit it. Yeah, but mostly down below where we keep our pots and pans. That gives me a lot of anxiety. I don't need to look at it, which causes me not to want to cook because yeah. you need that to cook. Um, do you cook very much? I used to, but I don't anymore. This part? Yeah. Um, no. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't like it in here. I don't know where to find stuff. Okay, so this is a big ask for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. First thing was we moved the dish rack off the counter. That cleared up a whole counter space to the left there. And then we made that into their coffee corner kind of so we put the coffee maker the teapot and then above in the cabinet above all the mugs tea hot chocolate anything they need for coffee and also the bowls for breakfast so the plates that were in that cabinet we moved over to the right side of the sink in there had been only glasses just way too many glasses and so we just put in some shelf helpers and now plates fit in the same cabinet with all the glasses. Great. So I moved the knives and the cutting boards over back to the big long counter space, cleared that off of absolutely everything that wasn't essential, and then cleared out all of the cabinets above that space. Once those top cabinets were empty, we moved what little food stuff they had. You'll see in these pictures that the cabinets are so pretty empty, but that's because she's just starting to cook now. We use some clear bins to store snack items, and then she'll get another clear bin to store her baking items on another top shelf. Remember she said she was frustrated with the pots and pans? She had these two teeny skinny cabinets on either side of the oven. And they were just full of plastic bags from the grocery store and a couple of paper bags and reusable bags, basically just plastic bags. I just pulled all those out. I'm going to take those to recycle them. And um, I realized, oh yeah, you can stand up. You'll see in this picture, you can stand up the pans and then you can put the pots in the one on the right. So they're right by the oven. Great. And then in her big corner cabinet, that's like a black hole. I put a huge 18 inch Lazy Susan in the back of that so that when she does buy more things, you can put those packages back there on the Lazy Susan so nothing's going to get lost in the corner. They had cleared out the top cabinets beside, um, the top cabinets beside the oven. So those look a lot different just because we thinned them out. Okay, we finished doing the kitchen. Sarah, what do you think? I'm in love. It's magical. (laughs) It is life-changing. I'll be able to find things. My husband will be able to find things. Yay! So I hope this gives you some ideas of some things you can do in your kitchen. And even more than that, I hope that this shows you a little bit of an idea of what to expect when you bring Get Organized Already into your house. Whatever your goal is, I bet we can help. Thank you for subscribing and please sign up for our newsletter and get tips right in your mailbox. The link is in the description for you to get organized already.